Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to cut objects in two point perspective. Uh, for the sake of convenience, I have already created uh, this object uh, here. It's a it's a simple 3D uh, cube slash cuboid, right? Uh, constructed in two point perspective. So before we uh, begin the actual process, as always, the disclaimer is uh, all these uh, tutorials, all these lessons can be performed using a paper, a pencil, and a ruler. Right. So with that out of the way, uh, we can focus on the lesson finally. Right. Now, simple uh, stuff. Step number one, construct the object. Step number two, construct the reference shape. So let me construct a reference somewhere here. Okay. Looks good. Now I'm going to assume that uh, this object here is on the face of this cuboid. Okay, it is on the face of the cuboid. So when you extrude it, you know this way. Obviously, you're going to extrude it this way. You can also extrude it, uh, you know, in the outward direction. We will see what happens when you do that uh, in some time. But for now. Uh, let's assume that you're going to extrude it inwards. So when you can uh, when you extrude a uh, shape into a 3d object, it is going to cut, right? So how do you show the cut? Simple. Uh, you take this, uh, these corners that you have, and since it's on your right, it converges to the left. So just that way. And that's it. So uh, let me just highlight what what just happened here. Let me take the uh, the purple and let me take a different brush and let me highlight what happened. So what has happened is it created a hole basically in the object. So this is the uh, of course the the opening and since it's going inwards you have this structure here now if i was uh, if i shut off the uh, assistant lines you can see that we have cut into the object successfully all right now next uh, step is to extrude it outwards okay so what do you mean by extruding it outwards let's take a look uh, same procedure we will Take the same pencil and I'm going to construct another box here quickly. Okay. And uh, this time I'm going to extrude it outwards, which means it is going to form a structure connected to the box, but jutting out of it. Okay. Just check it out. So I'm just going to extend these uh, corners. And now here, obviously, you have to determine uh, how much you you want the extrusion to be. So let me just uh, mark it up here. Right, and I think this goes on top. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is obviously uh, make it uh, infinitely clear for you guys uh, what you have uh, managed to do. Okay, so when, since you're extruding the object outwards, right, uh, you will not see uh, this portion. You will only see the uh, body that is formed. Okay, so we'll have this, this point here, obviously this point here, and we can see this corner this edge as well and that's it so if i shut off the assistant lines you will see that we have created a body connected to the cube okay so this is how you cut into the body and this is how you add material to the body now where does this adding material come into play this comes into play when you have to create elements like ridges or maybe you want to create a handle for your product this is this uh, skill comes uh, in handy over there okay now uh, let's try something interesting uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to 
create a base shape. I'm going to extrude it outwards, then create another base shape on that and extrude it inwards. Okay, so that is something uh, that you can try. Now, these, uh, this, this combination of extruding outwards and then cutting into the body helps you uh, a lot when you want to create uh, you know, stuff like pipes. Uh, you want to create a cylinder as well. In the future tut tutorials, we'll see how to do that. So quickly, let us uh, do this. So as always, let's switch to the pencil. Okay, and I'm going to create the shape over here. Okay, and make sure that uh, the shape is big enough because you're going to extrude outwards and then cut into it as well. Okay, so first things first, let's extrude this outwards. Now, as you can see, the perspective obviously changes since it's closer to you, you will, uh, you know, it, it will look bigger uh, to you than, than this one. Okay. Uh, now let's uh, let's see how much I would actually I would actually say this much Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. It is just the perspective that is uh, Acting on its own here Okay, that's it Okay, now obviously we have uh, a very <laughs> a Very wonky kind of shape, but that's fine. That's fine. We will uh, now uh, yeah, we'll now extrude into it. So we have created the extrusion outwards. Now let me create a shape inside this. Okay. Yeah, so if you're not perfect, obviously you can, when you use the marker, you can uh, show it up a bit. And extrude this inwards. Okay. Now, our handy uh, friend, the marker is going to help us understand what we have done. So let me just quickly switch to the marker. And so first of all, we have the base here. Okay, we extruded this outwards, right? So create the extruded shape first. And do this and this, okay? This is uh, what we get when you extrude it outwards. Sorry, I think I forgot this. Yeah. Okay, so let me just quickly shut off these lines. Okay, so you have extruded this uh, outwards, but we also cut into it, right? So let's uh, let's show that up as well. So we have a hole now. The hole obviously has the opening and the little uh, the inside of the object, if you may, that is that's visible. So that's it, right? Simple. So now you know how to uh, extrude into the object. You know how to extrude out of the object. You know how to extrude out and then perform uh, operations on that as well, right? Uh, now another question that I have got uh, very commonly is, what if you want to drill a hole from the top? Right. See, usually uh, in a building or something, you have it on the on the flat on the face, right? Not too much. No, not many in inlets and outlets on the top. Maybe just the drains. So, in an object, if you're designing a product which has openings on the top, how do you do that? It's simple, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to make a new layer. Right. And yeah. Okay, now how do you approach this problem? Now you want to have a hole on the top. Simple. You just create the shape of the hole. Oops. You go to go to sketch. Uh, I don't know anything works. Okay. I don't think this works. Uh, um, sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, so we have, yeah. let's say I want this this hole, right, uh, drilled into the object. What happens? Nothing happens because you're drilling downwards and in perspective, whatever goes up or down is just a, it's just a 90 degree line. So all you have to do is extend these corners. Obviously these corner, the, uh, this one, this one and this one 
will not be visible to the naked eye but since you can see this portion that will be visible so uh, i know i know it's not this and that so let me just clear this up for you and here we go we start off with the opening right so we have created a beautiful little opening on top of our box and that's it that's it as simple as that and you have successfully drilled your rectangular uh, i say opening into uh, into your 3d object so that's it guys uh, these are the uh, the basic uh, basics that you need to know as far as extrusion and uh, cutting into an object is concerned okay and as an exercise you can repeat exactly what i did right now create a box a simple box and extrude inwards from uh, from the side from the top from the bottom if you want if you can see the object from the bottom right uh, extrude outwards and then uh, perform operations on the extruded part uh, like we have done here right uh, so experiment uh, a little with with this concept and uh, in the next lesson i will tell you a use case so what we're going to do in the next lesson is uh, try and create something using these concepts okay so make sure you have uh, brushed up the fundamentals and you are ready to go uh, the next lesson will come soon until then this is sketched signing off